Okay, today we're going to look at a new sound. Can you have a look at the sound and tell your grown up what it is? It's uh, uh, uh. Can you say the sound and do the action? Uh, uh, uh. Grown ups, pause the video and ask your children can they think of any words with the uh sound in? Okay, Miss Shevlin has thought of some words with the er uh sound in. So let's have a look. The first word is er. Uh, er. Uh. Can you use your robot arms to sound it out? Er uh, is fur. Er. Uh, Let's see if we can do the sound buttons. For we would do a bean, and for a we would do a sausage because it is a diagram. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. We've got b, uh, st, b, uh. First makes first. First, first. Okay, let's have a go at doing the sound buttons. We've got a bean for b, a sausage for a, a bean for s, and a bean for t. B, first, first. Okay, next one. S, uh, s, uh, s, uh, makes surf. Let's see the sound buttons. S, uh, how many sounds does the word surf have in it? Uh, 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 three sounds and one, two, three, four letters because there's a digraph in the middle that has two letters that only makes one sound. Okay, the last one. T, uh, n Uh, nip. It's a very tricky one. T, uh, nip. Makes turnip. T, uh, nip. T, uh, nip. Turnip. Okay. I am going to ask you to write some sentences. So, remember your capital letters, remember your finger spaces, and remember your full stop. Okay, the first sentence I would like you to write is, my dog has thick fur. My dog has thick fur. Okay, grown-ups, pause the video. And when you're ready, we'll have a go at writing it together. Okay, my dog has thick fur. Let's have a go. My, tricky word, my. M, Y, spells my. My, finger space, dog. Dog has has thick mm, thick ick has thick fur uh uh with a full stop. K 
Can you have a look at your sentence? Where is the er uh sound in this sentence? Where is the er uh sound? It is here in the word fur. Okay. The next sentence I would like you to write is, can I surf or sail on a boat? Can I surf or sail on a boat? Have a think about that sentence and what you might need at the end. Okay. Can I surf or sail on a boat? Can. Uh, hmm, with a capital letter because it's at the beginning of the sentence. Can I, tricky word I, surf, surf, surf. Can I surf or sail? on a boat. A on a boat. Now have a think, what do I need at the end of that sentence? Not a full stop because it's asking a question. Can I surf or sail on a boat? So we need a question mark. Okay, as a challenge, I would like you to see if you can think of any other words with the er uh sound 